Well, hey there, Dirt Crew. Today's day two of East Rim, and we're going to ride it the other direction, counterclockwise. And we are racing the threat of rain. <laughs> it's Sunday, and we're going to ride again, going counterclockwise. Bitches. Easily, yeah. Yeah. That's that's us, yeah. Uh, now, Lamb Loop is four miles long, and when going clockwise, you have the first 1.5 miles. It's a constant four to five percent grade. Lots of berms, jumps, and tabletops to experience. It also runs parallel to Interstate 80 Highway, and that's something that's pretty uncommon. It's, it has over a mile of uninterrupted straight downhill. Well, when we loop the map, there's very few turns, and of course it's all downhill. You can find yourself riding the entirety of the first third clockwise without needing to hit the brakes or needing the pedal stroke. When riding counterclockwise, however, you're descending at nearly three times the gradient of clockwise, meaning it's much faster and it requires a lot more climbing since you're losing elevation so much quicker. Now, the benefit of more aggressive descending is more aggressive features. And counterclockwise, you can hit every single rock roll with ease. In fact, I'll say, much like clockwise, the first two miles here are actually really fun. With some doubles and tabletops that taunt you to try to clear them, and I can almost do it. Even Emily, who's normally wigged out by even the concept of a jump, is gaining more confidence and it's getting a little bit of air. After that, you transition into an extremely fun set of rock jumps, which may need some tree trimming so your GoPro helmet doesn't smack into them, but leads into a tight berm and another set of five jumps after. Now, a quick warning, this area is actually a lot harder than it looks, and I'm not actually that good at mountain biking yet, so sometimes that combination leads to some unfortunate situations. Oh. Don't worry though, Emily's completely fine. And right after that, she went and sent it herself. Dropping in. That was great. And it's only another quarter mile of climbing down the trail that you get another insanely fun set of jumps and downhill with rock transitions. Now, just like yesterday, while taking a little bit of water break, we see some veteran riders coming through and completely dominating the feature that took us four or five shots just to get something sort of passable for content. Now, anyone that's ridden this trail both directions will tell you that counterclockwise is a lot more rideable when it comes to the rock features. This climb that you saw yesterday is more of just a quick, fun, technical descent instead of the brick wall that it is for some riders. In fact, it's not even 500 more feet that after these rocks, you run into that rock climb that took me over 30 tries and I still failed at it. But this time I'm just working on laying off the brakes and trusting my bike to carry me safely over them. And Emily was super pumped to stomp her way through these rocks instead of having to push her bike up and around them. And that pretty much brings us to the end of the fun parts of this trail in this direction. And when the climb starts again, Though, this last little drop before the creek is super satisfying to hit. A lot better. Except when you're trying to set up your final shot and you actually miss your pedal when you land. And 
now here's Emily with the dirty scale. So let's start with difficulty. Four. I think it's four. Because there's still lots of climbing. It's really hard. <laughs> And because I'm not that skilled, I can't keep my speed up, so then I have to climb even more. If I could keep my speed up, then I wouldn't have to climb so much. Ingenuity. What's ingenuity again? <laughs> uh, how well it's built around the natural terrain, the utilization of that terrain, That's uh, a five. and what makes it memorable. That's a five. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? Um, because even though it's going the other direction, you can still use the same jumps that you used yesterday. Tabletops? Yeah. yeah. And I think there's also a lot of jumps that you couldn't hit yesterday that you're going to be able to send today. Yes. Yeah. Rideability. Flow. Two. Why is that? because of the reason that I said that, that it was so difficult because I can't keep my speed up so I have to keep pushing myself harder than I really need to. This direction, the descents are over three times steeper than the other direction. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think that contributes to your low score? Yeah. Trail features. Five. <laughs> what, what, what trail features do you like this direction? Um, I like, I really like going down the rocks. I hate climbing up the rocks. Yeah, the rocks are a lot more approachable this direction. It's much yeah. more fun to send that drop than it is to, to smash into that climb. To try and get over climb. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then lastly, yielding. Yielding is a uh, two, yeah, right? It's just, it's just popular here. It's yeah. a great place to ride parking lot was full on the way in. There's not yes. a lot of people at Lamb Loop today, but there's a lot of people on the bike and hike and there's a lot of people on phase one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Overall, what do you give it? Yesterday we gave it a five out of five. What would you give it today? Four out of five. Four out of five and that's yeah. just because of what? Because you, someone like me and experience, you're climbing a lot, like practically the entire time yeah. you're just climbing. So you think it, it could get a higher rating if you were more skilled? Yes. Right. Ask me next year. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Now let's go get dirty.